All right, I'm going to start with a high pitch, and I'm going to I'm going to change the angle. I'm going to call from here, and then I'm going to bring the call down, and you listen to the pitch. You hear how it went from high to deep? So I can get I can get that in this. Okay, then I can change my air pressure to get volume and pitch. So the more air, if I leave everything the same and I'm putting more air, it's gonna be higher pitch. It's gonna be louder too. See what I did? Now, the more pressure I put, without changing the angle, the more pressure I put, all I did there was push my lip further into that reed. See what I'm saying? Stretching that reed, making it tighter, and that air changes the tone. So as I do that, I can learn, and, and a lot of people will, will do that and, and try to get their yelp like that. It's not really that necessary. Once you learn to use your air, and that air has to come from the diaphragm. Once you learn how to use that air, you don't have to, you know, a lot of people will try to get that double note like with their jaw or their lip like, That's not necessary, nothing wrong with that. A lot of times that will help you get some jakier stuff going on. But if you control your air and you use that air from your diaphragm, you can actually change, get that drop. What I'm doing is, is pushing air and releasing, pushing air and releasing. I'm bringing it from the diaphragm so I'm getting that rollover without moving my jaw and without changing anything. And that makes a difference. When you start changing your jaw and changing your pressure, you start changing a lot of things at once. So that's kind of what I do. And then when I gobble, now I'm gonna tell you this call is not set up to gobble. I like a little bit thicker reed to gobble and will gobble, but it ain't great. <clears throat> but what I'll do, Goblin is I'm gonna I'm gonna force air across it and shut it off quick like a tuka tuka tuka. A lot of times a gobble, if you listen to it, has a, a front, a middle, and an end. A lot of people you hear them just kind of. But to get that realism in there, they got a crack, a middle, and then an end. And sometimes they'll gobble and they'll just run out of air. how that so I'm I'm cutting that air off and I'm not using my tongue or anything else I'm doing it with the diaphragm I'm, I'm all coming coming down from here with that air puffing it so that's just kind of how I run it um, the key keys I'll run off the top and what I'm doing is is I'm changing the location of my lip and I'm getting that extreme top so that makes it high pitch <clears throat> When I yelp off of that, I'll just drop my lip. Now it's really hard to go from that yelp back to that key. That's tricky. But to go from the key to the yelp, if you start at the top and then bring that thing down and drop that lip back into the into the heart of the call, then it'll start uh, coming in with a yelp.